For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn and a crochet hook. I've chosen to use Yarn and Colours Super Must Have in the shade Pastel Pink, and I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. A pair of scissors and a darning needle will also come in handy for sewing in your ends. As always, I'll leave loads of details in the description box, so make sure that you go and check that out. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and you can do that in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook and we're going to make a foundation chain in a multiple of six. So we're going to yarn over and pull through, that's one. Yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, four, five and six. So you will keep working that multiple of six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, that's 12 chains, until you get to the width of the project that you like. I'm going to do four multiples, so I'm going to have 24 stitches in total. Pause the video, work your chain, and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so now I have my chain of 24. I'm going to add two, so one, two, and that is for turning. So for this pattern, it's a multiple of six plus two for turning. So I have 24, 25, 26 chains for my sample piece. For row one, we're going to work in the second chain from the hook, so not the one that's on the hook. We have one, and then this is the second one here. We're going to be working a double crochet, which is a UK term. In the US this is known as a single crochet. So we'll go into that stitch, yarn over and pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. That is a double crochet. We'll then double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Skip three chains, one, two, three, and then we'll start a pattern repeat. So this pattern repeat is going to be three double crochets. So we'll go into that stitch, work a double crochet, one, two, and three. Chain three, one, two, three, and then skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then repeat that again. Three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and then start again. So you'll do that all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. So you can pause the video and work your way to that point and then meet me back once you're ready. So I'm here at the end of my row. I have done my final chain three and when I take into consideration that we've missed those three stitches, you will have those two stitches remaining. So in those last two stitches, we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch. So there's one and two. So that is the end of row one. We'll now move on to row two, which is actually the start of the pattern repeat. So for this pattern, we will do a pattern repeat of rows two to five. So this is the point you'll rewind to if you need those instructions again. So for row two, we're going to turn our work, first of all, and chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch. And then we're going to miss the first two stitches. So one and two. We're then going to work seven treble crochets into this chain three space. So again, remember I'm working in UK terms. In the US, this is known as a double crochet. So it's yarn over, insert into that chain three space. Yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook. 
yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll have two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through those last two loops, and then just pull that over slightly, just so that you can fit the rest of your treble crochets in that space. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there we have our seven stitches in that space. We now have another pattern repeat. So for this, we're going to skip the next stitch, work a double crochet into the next, and then skip the next. So if we have a look at where these three double crochets are, we'll skip one, double crochet into one, and skip one. So this is the pattern repeat, skip a stitch, double crochet, and skip a stitch. We'll then do seven treble crochets into that chain three space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Start the pattern repeat again, skip a stitch, double crochet, skip a stitch, and then seven trebles. You'll repeat that all the way across until you've done your last seven trebles into the final chain space and you'll be left with two stitches remaining. So work your way across and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I've worked my way across. I now have those last two stitches remaining. We're going to skip the next stitch and then double crochet into that final stitch to finish that row. We'll turn our work. And then for row three, we're going to start off with a chain four. One, two, three, and four. And that chain four is going to count and that chain four is going to count as a chain space. So now we're going to skip three stitches. So at the base of this chain, one, two, and three, and we're going to do three double crochets into these stitches. Um, and then we're going to do one double crochet into the next three stitches. So skipping those three stitches, one, two, three, and then work a double crochet, one, two, and three. And then we have a pattern repeat. So the pattern repeat is going to be chain three, one, two, three, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. So don't forget about that one just here. One, two, three, four, five and then three double crochets, one, two, and three. And that pattern repeat starts again. Chain three, one, two, three, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and then double crochet into the next three stitches, two, and three. You're going to repeat that until you have two stitches remaining. So you'll just, uh, you'll finish your last three double crochets on this last shell, and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so once you've worked your way across and you have your last two stitches remaining, we're going to go ahead and chain one, and then treble crochet, into that very last stitch. So we're skipping a stitch and treble crocheting into that last stitch. And that treble and chain one will count as a chain space. We'll turn our work and move on to row four. So for row four, we're going to chain three, 
one, two, three. That counts as a treble crochet. And then we're going to work three trebles into this chain space. One, two, and three. And then we're going to skip a stitch, double crochet into the next stitch and skip a stitch. And then our pattern repeat will start from here. So just the same as we did before, we're going to work seven treble crochets into this chain three space. So it's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip a stitch double crochet, skip a stitch and start that pattern repeat again. So it's seven double crochets, skip a stitch, double crochet, skip a stitch. You will work all the way across until your final chain space. So you'll finish on your skip a stitch, double crochet, skip a stitch and then we'll have this space remaining. So work your way across and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so at the end of this row, we're going to go ahead and work some stitches into this final row. And we're going to do four treble crochets into this chain space. One, two, three, and four. So that is the end of row four. So we have the two half shells at either end. For row five, we're going to turn our work, chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And then we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So double crochet and double crochet. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. And then our pattern repeat will start from here. So we're going to do three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five, and then start the pattern repeat again. Three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five, and then start your pattern repeat again. So you do this all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. So you'll have skipped those five um, stitches and you'll have two stitches um, at the end. So pause the video, work your way to the end of your row and meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so once you've worked your way to the end, you've done your chain three, we'll skip five stitches. We're then going to do a double crochet into those last two stitches. So double crochet into that stitch just here. And then your final stitch will actually be um, the chain, which is acting as a treble. So we'll also work into there. And that is the end of that pattern repeat. So it's a four row repeat, rows two, two, three, four, and five. So, from here you go back to row two, turn your work, chain one, skip two stitches and then start working into your chain space with your seven treble crochets. So you can rewind the video back to row two if you need instructions of the repeat. So here we have the pattern which has been repeated twice over. I think you can agree it looks absolutely stunning. And if you like this stitch, I think you might like this one next.